Hi, my name's TB. It is the 16th of March, and I'm going to play Crash Bandicoot Purple Riptus Rampage and Spyro Orange, the Cortex Conspiracy for the Game Boy Advance. I know why these two are meeting. I, I know why they did when they did. They had the same owner. There was money to be made. I get this. I don't quite understand how they've settled on this way of doing it, though. Let me show you what I mean. Let's start with Crash Bandicoot. So it's agreed, Ripto. We'll work together to rid ourselves of Spyro and Crash. My genetic modifications to your army of Riptox will cause those two even more trouble. Yes, Cortex. I have no idea how he sounds. And dressing them up as Crash and Spyro. Ah, our foes won't even realize they should be on the same side. Okay. So they're framing Spyro for what's about to happen. I fear this is Cortex's work again. We need someone who can look into this. Someone brave and fearless who can get the job done. But all we have is Crash, and it for some reason does not matter that he has bailed us out of world ending jams four times already, so he'll have to do. Crash! And here we are. This is already a lot like GBA Crash games have been twice already. Both huge adventure or excess, depending on where you are. And entranced played like this. So this is fine. And indeed, classic crash with side scrolling. So that's fine also. Bonus stages. Accessible from the hub. It's not normal. But let's just let's just see what's going on here, right? Maybe there's a reason to buck the trend that has been set in stone, and I fucked it up already, so who cares? Who cares? Who absolutely cares? Is there a runner-up price of any sort? There is not. Amazing. Why prefer it appears to just amass like DK's bananas? We're in just strange territory here. New things are scary. Being able to see how much longer at the level you got is neither good nor bad. It just is. And in any case, we got the crystal. I will be ignoring any further optional bonus stages. I'll be killing anything that looks like a Spyro. And I will be continuing on my merry way. Wampa fruit barriers. Where am I? I believe the Arcumas is there to direct you to things that are actually vital for progression. I appreciate that. I see they are following the Crash 3 route. I've given you several vehicle sections. People seem to like that a lot. I hope they're happy. I would not say this handles very well at all. It at least reminds me of the Crash Bash tank game, which I did enjoy. Quite a bit. You guys ever think about war? It is not clear who we are fighting at this stage. Uh, who's controlling these tanks, for instance? Tiny lab assistants? Here's money bags. I gotta see what he's selling. This is what they wanted people to trade between Spyro Orange and Crash Purple. I just bought a plant card. It looks like that. I think what I'm seeing are a bunch of game modes that are meant to double as fun minigames to play on a link cable. It sounds like a song from Grease 2 called We're Gonna Score Tonight. Also, what was wrong with his little jet ski from the second game? I thought that thing was cool. Seeing a green exclamation mark box is quite a comfort. It's a bit of a life preserver in these trying times. Crash, you have more minigames to play and many trading cards to get as well with tangible real world value, but often that value is low. Really a precursor to Steam when you think about it. 
This I'm okay with. I win. I'm killing sheep. Alright, Aku, where else must I go? Maybe an Activision boss came to them and said, like, we need a Pokemon. What have we got that can do Pokemon? Go! And then he left the room. And now here we are. Maybe they slaved on it for a while. Trying to make it an RPG. And then they realized the guy didn't know what an RPG even was. So like, okay, well screw it. Let's just make the same kind of crash game we've always have. Sort of. But also a Pokemon game. Sort of. I wonder where that last portal has brought us, Crash. I can see a castle over this castle. Look! A purple dragon! It is here now that I must murder Spyro the dragon. I've done it. I've murdered Spyro the dragon. Now that we've arrived at this point, it is time to quit and try our hand at Spyro Orange. The intro plays out in much the same way. Much the same dialogue. Different font, which I appreciate. We have Hunter and the Professor back. It's nice to see their weird Muppety faces. How does Spark sound? Let's go! Oh. I can murder sheep in this as well. In fact, that reminds me. Murdering sheep is, an, is a classic Spyro pastime. It is strange that the streams should get crossed and Crash should do it, but then I guess that's the name of the game. It wouldn't be Crash Purple otherwise. We are now looking for portals in much the same way Aku had us looking for portals. Here's one now. I don't know what there is to say here. My point of reference for Spyro on the GBA is, of course, the uh, Season of Ice game, which was isometric. And look, by no means great, but it was a vibe nonetheless. Which is to say, I don't miss it, but I wonder why it wasn't possible this time. Maybe it just costs more. He's now in a tank. His fondness for military hardware grows. Maybe, and I'm no game designer, but being able to commandeer a vehicle that moves faster than you would on foot means having to let design less per square foot. I don't know if the, that match checks out. Level designers, hit me up. I probably look a bit befuddled. It's accurate. You did it. This is just condescending now. I know I'm playing a game for children. That's it, I've got nothing else. I'm now playing Breakout. Okay. It's a little like Crash, that Crash Bash mini game. It kinda is like that. Guess who did it? I'm amused by the fact that he's always looking down. Seems a bit unnecessary. I need you to understand how easy it is to get hit by the spikes. Very. I love shooting spiky balls. I actually do like that they just don't bother explaining how Ripto and Cortex meet up in the first place. Like, why? What would that add? You know? One more stage, and then the meeting of the Titans can happen again. But from a different angle, kind of like Rashomon. This last stage is basically a dry run for the crash murder that's gonna happen later. I don't understand the point of repairing your own platforms if you can get killed that easily. But regardless, I did it. I 
And on that note, goodbye.